All right, today we're going to do a tutorial on, uh, I'm going to rebuild one of my jacks or send it out for service. I'm just going to show you what I usually work with here. Um, basically got three snap-ons. Um, they're the older models, made in the USA. They tend to be the best, strongest metal. You see this one here is the uh, two and a half ton. The two ton, which is my favorite one, my go-to jack. And my one and a half ton snap-on. Um, today we're going to be focusing mainly on the uh, <clears throat> one and a half ton. It's losing pressure. I'll demonstrate it in a second once I put the other jacks away. I just wanted to show you what I usually work with. And like I said, um, my main go-to one is going to be this middle one here. For some reason, that's just the one I tend to use the most. Um, all right, this is a jack we're going to be focusing on. It's going to be the uh, snap-on YA632 service jack. It's uh, one and a half tons. The problem with this jack is when you put pressure on it or pump it up, I'll show you. You can see as I'm pumping the jack, it's losing pressure. Um, I've tried bleeding it and I've tried uh, different methods to in order to get all the air out of the system, but with weight on it, it just goes down. You can see it's slowly creeping down, which isn't safe. Um, <clears throat> the main thing I just want to reiterate with everyone is when you're working with a car jack, car jacks are only made to lift the car up. Um, basically, there's about a three cent O-ring that holds everything together in there. Um, always use jack stands, jack stands which support the vehicle. This is just to get the car up in order to put the jack stands on there. Do not risk your life and trust just a jack pulling the car. There's plenty of stories of jacks that blow out and drop the car on people so we don't want that to happen. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is um, we're going to take it apart. It shouldn't take that long. Basically we got to get the uh, piston out in the middle so I can send it in for service. I found a company online that I can mail it to and they said they have about a one to two week turnaround. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen these two bolts here, bolt down here and bolt here. It should split the whole unit open and therefore we can pull out the piston and I'll go through it we'll record it along the way. It shouldn't take that long. Right, the first thing you want to do is uh, Take off this handrail, unscrew the back, pop this off just to make it a little easier. Um, I'm going to take off these two bolts right here. You got to use the impact for that. With those bolts removed, the unit should pretty much come undone. There you go. Pull it forward. <clears throat> we just got to disconnect the, uh, the cotter pin with a pair of pliers. See right here is a cotter pin. I'll pull that out. And then disconnect these springs right here, the tension springs. <clears throat> I'll zoom in a bit just to show you, make it a little easier. These uh, springs, you got to remember, are facing outwards. I pop those out. And then the downward, it just basically pops out. This pops out here. <clears throat> I like to keep everything organized and put back in the same direction. So you have that. Then you have this cotter pin right here. And you just pull that straight out. So that's your pin. And then this should uh, break apart like so. And this is it. This is what's going to be sent in for repair. 
Um, it's actually really simple. I mean, this basically took me about a minute to take apart. That's a lot easier than I thought. <clears throat> I've seen some people actually um, loosen these bolts. I didn't have to do that. I don't think you have to. All, all I did was take apart these bolts right here and everything came undone pretty easily. Um, the main reason why I like these jacks are because they're that easy to work on. I have, like I said, I have three of them, three snap-ons, and I have one uh, Lincoln that I actually have to send out to get replaced to. I also have uh, a couple unknown imports that I use occasionally, one's from Japan. Um, the main thing with the jacks is I, I like American steel. Um, the ones made in the USA tend to be a little bit more heavy duty. So you know, I've, I've had jacks bend on me, like the metal will bend when they're under load. So I'm very picky about the jacks I use. I'll use high quality jacks. And if once they stop working, I send them out. You can keep getting them rebuilt. Um, it's really important to do maintenance on it. I'm going to have another episode where I'm going to show how to do routine maintenance on a jack and oil it and lube it and put changed oil. But right now, this is the piece right here that I'm going to be sending in to get rebuilt. And when it comes back, I'll do another video on the install process. I'm basically going to package it up, send it tomorrow in the mail, and two week, in two weeks we'll have another video. Um, another thing I recommend is also putting all these bolts in a bag, a Ziploc bag, and remembering the location. The darker bolts were closer to the bottom, and the bright red ones were on top. And the cotter pin is pretty simple. If you have any questions, you can put it down in the, uh, the question section. And I used a uh, 7 8 impact to do all of it.